Okay, oh, there's a head. It looks like he has a mohawk. Look a at that guy. Mohawk dinosaur? Got a, got a mohawk? Maybe he's a rock star dinosaur. Yeah. Mr. Nick, Mr. Nick, he's our pig. It's Mr. Nick. Yay! Yay! Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Mr. Nick Show. I'm your host, Mr. Nick. Today, we are going to be excavating dinosaur eggs part two. We had so much fun doing it the first time, and we got so much good feedback from you guys, the fans. We have six new eggs, six new dinosaurs inside. I can't wait to get started. But first, let me introduce you to my friend and my host, Allie. Hey, Allie, how are you doing today? Great. Are you excited to excavate these dinosaur eggs today? Roar! I can't wait, man. I am so excited because last time I had so much fun and these are things that you guys at home can get and do as well. So much fun. Let's get started. I'm gonna roll my sleeves first because this can be a little messy. All right, let's get going with this excavation. Uh, I hope a lot of the kids at home got the opportunity to do some of this. Actually, I saw a video of kids at home in school doing this after our first episode, so I think they had a lot of fun with it. What do you think, Allie? I think so. Doing this is a lot of fun. I know I had a lot of fun doing it, which is why we're doing it again. Oh, wow. I start. Ooh, it's an orange guy. You see him in there? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see what's in here. I wonder if he's going to be a big scary dinosaur or a smaller one yeah remember the last episode the first one we got was a t-rex so i know we don't have a t-rex today because we have six brand new dinosaurs to excavate but i can't wait to see what this guy looks like oh he looks oh, chip away a little bit more boom boom oh he looks big let me go wash him off and we'll see what we have i'll be right back all right, I've cleaned them up and I have a Spinosaurus. Now, Spinosaurus means spine lizard because you can see this huge sail he has coming off of his back or where his spine is. Now, in real life, these guys were so big that just this sail alone was up to seven feet tall. Seven feet is taller than probably any human you've ever seen in your life. And that's how big his sail was. How big do you think this guy was altogether? He has to be huge. Massive, that's crazy. Spinosaurus. Let's get the second egg. Okay, I have the second egg and I'm ready to excavate and see what's in here. Spinosaurus on the first one. Seven foot tall spine sail on its back? Are you kidding me? So crazy. I can't even imagine what these guys must have looked like in real life back then. Oh man, okay, I see a tail. There's a tail, let's keep going. Oh yeah, there we go. So we got a pterodactyl last time and that was your favorite. Ooh. Do you think there's any other dinosaurs that fly? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I think there were, but a pterodactyl was the most popular. Ooh, this guy here has a little horn on its nose like the Triceratops, but I don't think this is a Triceratops. Let's clean them off and see what we have, all right? I'll be right back. All right, I have a Styracosaurus. Now, you may see it has that horn like the Triceratops, but it only has one horn. The Triceratops had three. So this is a Styracosaurus has this large six pointed mane around its head or frill and this horn was up to two feet long and that was to help fight off other dinosaurs but this is a plant eater so he wasn't attacking other dinosaurs he would use this to protect himself against other dinosaurs i like that one yeah it's a pretty cool one it's like the triceratops but it's a little different and he's a plant eater so probably a nice guy let's go get the next egg Okay, I have my third egg and I'm ready to excavate. So Styracosaurus, Spinosaurus. We're finding ones that I have never heard of before. I know. Yeah, the first episode where we did this, we found a lot of dinosaurs I had heard of before. 
And I have not heard of either one of these yet, but that's the fun part. I get to learn new things. Ooh. I see a guy in here, he looks red. I see a tail down here that has some red, oh, and some feet, a little feet in there, see that? All right, I think I've Keep almost- going, Mr. Oh, oh hi. yeah, I've almost got him out. Kids, seriously, this is a lot of fun. You should be able to chew, uh, hopefully maybe see if you can uh, get one of these for for the heck of it. And, and wow, this guy looks so cool. Maybe do this at home. Let me go clean this guy off. I'll be right back. Okay, I've washed him off. And this is a Parasaurolophus. Wow, that's a big word. That's a big word. It's a big dinosaur. So this guy here, he had this huge, you know what? I actually have a larger one in my collection. Let me show you. All right, so he had this, wow. yeah, that's a big guy, right? Pretty cool. Actually kind of like, looks like the T-Rex, right? The little short arms. But this was a plant eater and he had this huge cast on his head here that they think may have been a, uh, there to help him hear yeah. or regulate body temperature. And he had hundreds of teeth in his cheeks to help chew all those rough like branches and leaves and trees. In, in his would, cheeks? In his cheeks, I guess, yeah several hundred teeth, which you would think you would need if you were a meat eater, but I guess eating branches and trees and leaves, that could be kind of tough to chew also, right? I feel like it's easier to eat chicken than it is to eat a branch. I, I agree, I agree, but they didn't have chickens running around, I don't think in those days either, so I don't know, but this guy, he's a Parasaurolophus, <laughs> something like that. All right, I have egg number four. Let's get excavating. My little chisel tool here. Oh yeah. I kind of like the muddiness of it too. It's fun. I like watching it. Yeah, you don't want to get your little feet wet or dirty? No. Nope. You're an alligator. Don't you live in dirty, muddy, swampy water? Or that, that's, those are the, those are your olden days, huh, Allie? Yeah, I cleaned up a little. Yeah, the pink sparkly bow. I see something in here. I don't know if that's a foot. I don't know what that is. Ooh. Oh, there he is, guys. You see that? Yeah, almost. I see half his body. Ooh. I got him. Ooh, this guy's lots of spikies on his back. Let me go clean them off. We'll get a better look. Okay, I've cleaned it off and I have an Ankylosaurus here. And you see these plates on its back? It used that for protection. And this huge club on its tail. He could swing at other dinosaurs and really, really cause some damage if they were trying to come and, you know, eat them because dinosaurs sometimes eat other dinosaurs. This guy was a plant eater though. He did not eat other dinosaurs, but he still needed this big club on his tail to protect himself. I like his tail. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I mean, to be able to hit other dinosaurs with it and then have all this protective armor on your back, like that's really, really smart design. Cool. All right, we have two more eggs to go. I'm excited to see what's in this one because I don't know. I just think this is fun. Are you having fun, kids? <laughs> Did, did, oh, something green in there. There's a green lab. It looks kind of like you. Maybe there's a little alley in there. Oh my gosh, would that be crazy to see a little alley pop out of one of these things? I mean, I do have that picture of you hatching out of that egg in the swamp. All right, green. I'm excited. We found dinosaurs that I've never learned about before. I know, I've honestly really only heard of, I think the Ankylosaurus. This is a really new group of dinosaurs. Oh, this guy, I like the coloring. Now this may not be the exact color that he was in real life, but I like the coloring of my new toy. Let me go clean him off, I'll be right back. All right, he's all cleaned off and I have an Anatotitan. Anatotitan, another tall looking guy with the little short arms. Why do you think they didn't need long arms? I mean, they're so large. Maybe because they're just so tall, they could reach everything? With, yeah, with their heads, I guess. Maybe, like a giraffe? Yeah, oh, there you go. And this guy actually has what looks to be like a duck-shaped bill. You see that? What? 
A duck shaped bill. I don't That's know. That's different. Yeah, I don't know if he would maybe use that for drinking purposes or what, but yeah, a large dinosaur with a duck shaped bill. That's an interesting one. Oh, I got a new one in my collection. One more egg. Let me go get it. Okay, I have one more egg. I cannot wait to see what's in this one. What do you think we're gonna get? I don't know. I wonder if it's going to be another one. I don't know. Maybe. I wonder how many different dinosaurs there were. Probably so many. I think I'm gonna look that up. That's an interesting thought. Ooh, here we go. I see two feet and a tail. Look at the bottom of his feet. That's funny. Okay. Oh, there's a head. It looks like he has a mohawk. Look at a that guy. Mohawk dinosaur. Got a, got a mohawk. Maybe he's a rock star dinosaur. Yeah. All right. Getting him. All right, another big guy with little arms, but he has a mohawk. I'm gonna go clean this guy off. So let's see what we have here. I'll be right back. All right, I've cleaned him off, and this is a Hypacrosaurus. Again, another animal or dinosaur with a little itty bitty arms. But you know what? What? I'm gonna call him a Mohawkosaurus because he's got that cool mohawk. I love that. I think that's perfect, Mr. Nick. Yeah, rock out with your mohawk, buddy. Mohawkosaurus. All right, everybody, I had so much fun today excavating these eggs, getting six new dinosaurs to add to our collection. I hope you guys have fun too. You know what time it is. It's time for the joke of the day. <laughs> All right, Allie, are you ready? Yes. What do you call it when a dinosaur crashes his car? What? A Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> <laughs> I try. I hope you guys enjoy this one. We had so much good feedback after the first one and it was so much fun. We did it again and we got six new dinosaurs, lots of new ones I've never even heard of before. Lots of learning going on today. We'll see you guys next time. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time. Bye. Mr. Nick, Mr. Nick, he's our pig. It's Mr. Nick, yay.